ကိုမှာကြိုးတော့ပါတယ်။ဟုကျွန်တော်မနေရာဒီလာသွားတော့ဘာမိနီပတ်စ်ကရီးရင်းဒီဇိုင်းရဲ့အာပတ်စ်
right? So there's just a bit more latency. And the reason for that is when beta is 0, 0 0.98, then it's giving a lot of weight to the previous value and a much smaller weight, just 0 0.02, to whatever you're seeing right now. So when the temperature changes, when temperature goes up or down, this exponentially weighted average just adapts more slowly when beta is so large. Now let's try another value. If you set beta to another extreme, let's say it is uh, 0 0.5, then this, by the formula we have on the right, this is something like averaging over just two days temperature. And you plot that, you get this yellow line. And by averaging only over two days temperature, you have a much, it's as if you're averaging over a much shorter window. So you're much more noisy, much more susceptible to outliers, but this adapts much more quickly uh, to the temperature changes. So this formula is how you implement an exponentially weighted average. Again, it's called an exponentially weighted moving average in the statistics literature. And I'm going to call it exponentially weighted average for short. And by varying this um, parameter, or later we'll see it's actually a hyperparameter of your learning algorithm, you can get slightly different effects. And there will usually be some value in between that works best. That gives you the red curve, which you know maybe looks like a better average of the temperature than either the green or the yellow curve. You now know the basics of how to compute exponentially weighted averages. In the next video, let's gain a bit more intuition about what it's doing. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Okay. ตามหมดเลยตะชาปาร์ติสิเปนเนี่ยแนวเตียวหลอกบ่เนาะโกตูราโรโกตูราวินโลเนาะเดี๋ยวนี้ไปเจ้าตาไบรท์เนาะกู
ตัวเปียวจินาดีฮาเลโอตัวเปียวจินาดีฮาเลโบโลโบโลเลยทวนไลน์ขึ้นเนี่ยมั้ยเลยวะเนาะแล้วเสร็จเนี่ยซ้
ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็ก็
ไอ้ชาบิอยู่เนี่ยมันปัดตะเสียงเนี่ยบ่เนาะอะไรบ่เนี่ยดีหาเลยกว่าบลูเลยหนาโกอะไรดีแล้วกูอุ่นอะไร
and so on. And if you multiply all of these terms out, you can show that V100 is 0 0.1 times theta 100 plus. Now let's look at coefficient on theta 99. It's going to be 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 times theta 99. Now let's look at the coefficient on theta 98. There's a 0 0.1 here times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9. So if you expand out the algebra, this becomes 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 squared times theta 98. And if you keep expanding this out, you find that this becomes 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 cubed theta 97 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 to the fourth times theta 96 plus dot, dot, dot. So this is really a weighted sum, and that's a weighted average of theta 100, which is the current day's temperature. We're looking from a perspective of V100, which you calculate on the 100th day of the year. But so it's a sum of you know, theta 100, theta 99, theta 98, theta 97, theta 96, and so on. So one way to draw this in pictures would be if, um, you know, let's say we have some number of days of temperature. So this is theta and this is t, right? So theta 100 would be some value, uh, then theta 99 would be some value, theta 98. So these are, you know, so this is t equals 100, 99, 98, and so on, right? So you have some number of days of temperature. And what we have is then an exponentially decaying function. So starting from uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 times 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 squared times 0 0.1 to and so on. So you have this exponentially decaying function. And the way you compute V100 is you take the element-wise product between these two functions and sum it up. So you take this value, theta 100 times 0 0.1 times this value, uh, theta 99 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 that's the second term, and so on. So it's really taking the daily temperature, multiplying with this exponentially decaying function, and then summing it up. And this becomes your V100. It turns out that um, up to details I'll talk about later, but all of these coefficients add up to one, or add up to very close to one, up to a detail called bias correction, which we'll talk about in the next video. But because of that, this really is an exponentially weighted average. And finally, you might wonder, you know, how many days temperature is this averaging over? Well, it turns out that 0 0.9, right, to the power of 10 is um, about 0 0.35. And this turns out to be about 1 over E, 1 over the base of log natural logarithms. And more generally, if you have 1 minus epsilon, so in this example, epsilon would be 0 0.1. So if this was 0 0.9, then 1 minus epsilon to the 1 over epsilon, this is about 1 over e. This is about 0 0.34, 0 0.35. Um, and so in other words, it takes about 10 days for the height of this to decay to, you know, around one third, or really 1 over e um, of the peak. So it's because of this that when beta equals 0 0.9, um, we say that it takes, this is as if you're computing an exponentially weighted average that focuses on just the last 10 days temperature because it's sort of after 10 days that the weight decays to, you know, less than about a third of the weight of the current day. Whereas in contrast, if beta was equal to 0.98, then, well, what do you need 0 0.98 to the power of in order for this to be really small? It turns out that 0 0.98 to the power of 50 uh, will be approximately equal to 1 over E. So the weight will be pretty big. It'll be bigger than 1 over E for the first 50 days, and then it'll you know, decay quite rapidly over that. So intuitively, this is a hard and fast thing. Uh, you can think of this as averaging over about 50 days temperature, because in this example, to use the notation here on the left is as if epsilon is equal to 0 0.02. So one over epsilon is 50. And this, by the way, is how we got the formula that we're averaging over one over one minus beta or so days. Right here, epsilon really plays the role of one minus beta. It tells you up to some constant, roughly how many days temperature you should think of this as averaging over. But this is just a rule of thumb for how to think about it and isn't a formal mathematical statement.
Finally, let's talk about how you actually implement this. Recall that we start with a V0, initialize a zero, then you compute V1 on the first day, V2, and so on. Now, to explain the algorithm, it was useful to write down V0, V1, V2, and so on as distinct variables. But if you're implementing this in practice, this is what you do. You initialize V to be equal to zero. And then on day one, you would set V equals beta times V plus one minus beta times theta one. And then on the next day, you would update V to be equal to beta um, V plus one minus beta theta two, and so on. And um, I'm sometimes going to use this notation V subscript theta to denote that V is computing this um, exponentially weighted average of the parameter theta. So just to say this again, but in a full loop format, you set V theta equals zero, and then repeatedly, kind of on each day, you would get next theta t, and then set V theta gets updated as beta times the old value of V theta plus one minus beta you know, times the current value of V theta. So one of the advantages of this exponentially weighted average formula is that it takes very little memory. You just need to keep you know, this one row number in computer memory and you keep on overwriting it uh, with with this formula based on the latest value that you got. And it's really this reason, the efficiency, it just takes you know, one line of code basically um, and just storage and memory for a single row number to compute this exponentially weighted average is really not the best way, not the most accurate way to compute an average. If you were to compute a moving window where you explicitly sum over the last 10 days, the last 50 days, temperature and just divide by 10 or divide by 50, that usually gives you a better estimate. But the disadvantage of that, of explicitly keeping all the temperatures around in some of the last 10 days, is it requires more memory and it's just more complicated to implement and it's computationally more expensive. So for things, uh, and we'll see some examples in the next few videos, where you need to compute averages of a lot of variables, this is a very efficient way to do so, both from a computation and memory efficiency point of view, which is why it's used a lot in machine learning. Not to mention that it's just one line of code, which is maybe another advantage. So now you know how to implement exponentially weighted averages. There's one more technical detail that's worth you knowing about called bias correction. Let's see that in the next video. And then after that, you'll be able to use this to build a better optimization algorithm than the straightforward gradient descent. <laughs> ละกอบขึ้นตัวละกอบขึ้นตัวนาทานาทานเนี่ยแบล็คเราเรียกนาเลยว่าเว้ยนอกมาตัวเลสก็เลสก็แอปพลิเคชันน่ะมาสรุป
เอ่อกูยืนอยู่ทาบาดอยู่ทาบาดอยู่ไอ้สิงคโปร์เนาะแล้วส่วนมาเลเวียอ๋อกูลบบ่ไม่รู้ยินนาเลยเลยกูยื
Oh, test self, dev self, oh, the training self, dev self, oh, test self, smiley, 60, 20, 20, go, oh, the Andrew and I wrote them, look, you're right. But me, I'm the, now, so many, I'll tell you, 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 I'll tell Maloading lor ni, kan? Oh, okay. Ada lagi cahaya. Kau beli ni, lagi tapi buat cahaya, cahaya macam tu. Oh, ada satu macam tu. Kau buat road time sura. Memang mana aku ada. Nampak ni ada macam nak lemah siwa. Ada ni dua lah. Nampak nampak ni macam orang orang siwa. Lepas lepas ni jadi lain. Lepas ni belok ke mana? Belok ke mana? Kau tu lain lah. Mau buat tak? Dunia nak kah mai dah. Oh, macam ni. Sisi papa. ซึ่งพอพอไล่ใช่ตัวมาพี่พี่พี่อาจารย์ไม่ใช่ตัวมาเรียนประมาณกูก็เลยว่าอะไรอย่างนี้ไอ้กูเอาเล่าตัวมา
ဒီနေ့တမိချာနဲ့အတူတူဘဲဆိုလို့ရှိရင်ဟိုတစ်ချို့ကလက်ဆန်ပါပါဖြစ်နေတာခင်ဗျော်ရဲ့တွေတိတ
ไอ้ตัวโน้บาร์มาตู้บลูเปียมีดีไฟน์เปียนเลยวะเลยกูอันท้ายมาปูเลยท้ายตู้ไลฟ์เรียนมาเลยตู้โลกเปียนเลยม
machine ni dah mandatory mahu macam ni mana mahu. Kau tahu ni mahu mahu TV atau lain yang kalau buat, ada mana lain yang luar kerap apa. Oh, ini ni tu mahu ni, mahu rezeki tu yang mana. Aki tu mahu ni, ubah show ini pada dia. Macam apa yang dia show ni juga. So, kau ni ni mana? Tuh dia tu, show dia ni pen pen jadi ni macam ni. Ada apa jadi tu? Ada apa tu? Lebih apa tu? Kena bumi dan suai hari pan, bumi dan puan ni mana? Ada ya, nampai tu si leda. Asalnya tu di amusa matu buat no, ada mana bawa? Eh ada, eh matu matu, ada ada. Ada lah. Hmm, cari kenapa ni orang ni tu, orang ni macam ni nak cari hari balik le. Tu mana nak balik ni? Okay, mana boleh ni buat? Wah, seni ya. Hmm. Oh, seni ni seno siapa? Aku. Tanya macam ni. ก็ชิบหายใจดีหายใจรับพี่รับพี่เลยว่ะเราจะรับเพราะมันคนงานเชียงใหม่ไม่ได้เอาใบเนี่ยมาดิกูเปลี่ยนเลยใบเนี่